Guys, it is finally here. The brand new exotic Wicked Implement is dropping as of today's reset. This is a Stasis 180 round per minute scout rifle. And we've already done a live review on the scout, going over its benefits, its exotic perks, and what it can achieve inside of PvE and PvP. Today, though, we're going to be jumping into finally how to get this exotic. This is the full guide covering how to start the exotic mission, how to complete it, and how to unlock Wicked Implement. Now, I will say this. This mission is pretty tough. And the damage phase of this mission has a timer in which you have to DPS the boss down in time. Don't worry guys, we have a solution to this on how to quickly shred this boss. Now to start out the quest to get this weapon, you'll need to get three certain exotic fish. We've covered this in our initial exotic fish pre-guide for the quest, but essentially you'll need the following three exotic fish. The Whispering Moth Carp from Miasma on Savathun's Throne World. The Vexing Placoderm from the Cistern on Nessus. The Aeonian Alpha Beta from the outskirts on the EDZ. Now during this week, your chances of obtaining an exotic fish will be double. This is actually going on because of Bungie Day celebration this week, and we have a lot of double loot things like double rep, double adept weapons from the Grandmaster, but also double chances here of getting an exotic fish. And if you need any help at all of understanding how to fish in this game, feel free to check out our previous guide on this as we go into detail on how to optimize fishing. With that being said, though, it's pretty straightforward, guys. Go to each one of these locations, look for the light in the sky, fish away, and eventually an exotic fish will drop. Keep in mind, RNG is still the name of the game. It took Kuja 150 bait to finally get an exotic fish. Now, once you obtain each exotic fish, you then go to the helm to dunk each of them into the aquarium. Upon doing this, you will receive a broken blade quest item for each of the three fish. And you can keep track of your progress by viewing your fishing tackle box in your inventory. Now, upon dunking all of these fish and obtaining all three broken blades, you'll need to take these into a deep dive seasonal activity and then dunk them into three hive statues. Now, one major thing to keep in mind is that only one person in your fire team needs to dunk their broken blades to activate the quest. This means that in theory, as long as you join up on a fire team with someone who has all of the exotic fish, you don't have to worry about getting them for yourself and you will still get the weapon to drop for you upon completion. Regardless though, I'm gonna show off each one of the locations here for these statues to make sure everyone can learn where they are. And I'm just gonna let this live game play play out. By the way, check out the timestamps below if you want to just skip this portion.
Now, once you've completed the second deep dive encounter, you've interacted with all three statues, or at least had someone on your fire team who has interacted with all three statues, placing those three blades, a door on the right side of this room will open up. Once entering this room, there will be more high statues. One if solo, two if duo, and three if trio. And everyone in your fire team will need to interact with these statues that say, carve a path of violence. This will then clear the orange resonance shield that is blocking the path and will start the exotic mission. Now, once entering, you'll have a short underwater section. The text will update saying, sink deeper, drown. And you'll enter an area with Taken. Yeah? You seeing this aesthetic, man? Now you need to clear out all of the Taken in order to progress and you'll find yourself in another underwater section. Follow the path and then you'll drop down into a new section. From here, a Taken Knight will spawn called Coal, as well as some ads and some Taken Minotaurs called Servo Minotaurs. In order to damage the Taken Knight, you need to kill these Servo Minotaurs. By the way, pay attention to this because this is essentially the mechanic throughout this entire mission. Once they are taken out, you can start doing damage to the Taken Knight and after a short amount of damage, he will go immune and then teleport away. Then you can enter a new area to the right with respawn now being restricted. Now in this next section, this is where the timer starts. It is a 10 minute timer and you have to get through a few more rooms and then deal with the boss. So yes, fellas, you gotta work fast here. Upon entering the next room, some Taken will spawn and there are two resonant nodes you need to shoot. One is gonna be in the dead center of the room. The other is gonna be underneath the staircase. After both are activated, the shield will disappear. Go up the stairs and there will be some more Taken ads as well as more orange bar minotaurs called honed minotaurs. Now, before you can do full damage to the Taken Knights, you need to clear out these minotaurs. There will be some locked behind the resonant shield, but you should see another node next to the pillars in the middle that you can shoot that will unlock these shields. You can now take care of the Taken Knight and take him out quickly. Use your heavy and supers. You'll have a rally flag here soon, guys, so you're good. Now you need to head up to the stairs into the next room, and this is where you're going to face the boss. Rally here, guys, to get your ammo and your supers back, and then drop down, and you'll be facing with a Tormentor, and he is thick. He has a lot of health, and you're also on the clock. Now, same thing with the Taken Knight. They're gonna be taking Minotaurs that you need to kill before you can do full damage to the Tormentor. They're actually marked, so it's not hard finding these guys, but this is somewhat of a maze. Take out these three orange bar Minotaurs that are marked on your screen, and once they are dead, you will get a buff called Deathly Sharp times three, and you have about a minute to do damage to the Tormentor. Now, initially, our team was popping them well, and we were also using Leviathan's Breath. It took a few phases, it was a tad bit stressful, but we got the job done. However, the clear strategy here, and big shout out to Nader and QJ for sharing this with me, was actually using Divinity with Retrofit Escapade. They essentially dropped a well, just like we did. They started popping div shots, and then they just unloaded on this Tormentor with Retrofit. And the beautiful thing here is they got it done in one phase, with plenty of time left on the clock. I highly suggest doing this. And again, if you're looking for the best role here for Retrofit, the reason why this role is so good is because of its ammo economy. It's the combination of target lock and four times the charm. Now, could you do this with something else? Yes, you definitely can, guys. We just suggest having Divinity. So whether you're using Leviathan's Breath Steel or Thunderlord or some other machine gun, I think you'll be just fine. Just the ammo economy there with Retrofit is really, really nice. But definitely bring Divinity here. Now, if you are running into a situation where you are not getting enough ammo and you're running out of heavy, have someone on your team rock either Aeon Gauntlets or Cenotaph. You see, when you go and kill these three men Minotaurs. You can actually finish them for heavy ammo. So it's a very good way to top off heavy ammo for your teammates if you do run into a situation where you are running out. Now keep in mind this is a Tormentor, so taking advantage of things like raid weapons that have the origin trait Harmonic Resonance will do extra damage against this Tormentor. So if you got things like Briar's Contempt, I actually use Briar's in my solo run for the dungeon, it does extra damage here to Lucid as well as Tormentors. So a lot of different options here guys. Again, the easiest to me is based on what I saw here from QJ and Nader and FX of just shredding it there with a machine gun and a divinity. But considering how aggressive this boss plays, you do need to have a divinity. Ideally with like Leviathan's Breath, you could stun lock the boss outside of the well. But even when I was stun locking, he was still like pushing back into our well, which just made everything a lot more difficult to land. Now your damage phase will end. When you see the text, your violence wanes, your foes smell it. This will pop up in the bottom left end of your screen. And at this point, you need to rinse and repeat if you didn't get the 
the kill, track down those Minotaurs again, get finishers off with Aeon Gauntlets to top off heavy ammo, and just keep doing this until you've killed the boss. You want to work as fast as you can here, guys, because if you don't succeed, it's back to orbit. Now, upon killing the Tormentor, that's it. That's pretty much the end of the mission. That timer will go away. You'll see a marker on your screen. You'll follow that, and it will lead you up the staircase with a statue at the top. You'll see a prompt that says claim power, and upon interacting with this, you'll be rewarded with the Wicked Implement Exotic Scout Rifle. And there you go, guys. You just completed the exotic mission. There's also some resonant nodes scattered throughout this area. Six of them inside the maze, one inside up the staircase where that statue is. This is for a triumph. Now, I know a lot of people are asking, Cross, how do we get the exotic catalyst? So, some people are saying it's time-gated. Some people are saying that it's like Agar Scepter, where it's just purely RNG. I was getting mixed results here today on stream. We had people coming by saying, Cross, I got the catalyst. At the same time, people be trolling, right? This is the exotic catalyst, though. It essentially overflows your weapon. Doesn't really move the needle that much on this gun. It's nice, but not an exotic altering catalyst. Granted, that's just from the database. Could it be something completely different? Maybe. I've asked for people to show me a screenshot of this catalyst dropping. No one has been able to provide that, and I'm still waiting. It does say in the triumph section to complete deep dives, and we ran deep dives, but I've had a number of people come by who ran tier 7 deep dives, tier 5s, tier 3s, and they have yet to get this catalyst to drop from. At the same time, I've had people come by and say, Cross, it just randomly dropped for me after doing a deep dive, and I wasn't even tearing up. Again, conflicting reports here. We'll be messing around. I don't want another Agris catalyst scenario. Jesus, I'm gonna have to pick up some Tito's for this. And who knows, we may actually do that this week, but if you do have a screenshot of this weapon's exotic catalyst, equipped. Don't give me some Photoshop nonsense. Show me it being equipped. Add me in our Twitter, or even DM me on Discord. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Oh.